Dear Great YouTube, Constantin, uh, Tommy Gonla, New Megan Tissue, uh, Tommy Gonla Salsa. I'm just back from, uh, well, I say just back, I'm waiting, I've been waiting on the train for the last 20 minutes, even though I got lost finding the train station. But anyway, yes, I basically, alright, I went hiking with my friend Tina in Glendalock, we went around and did Spink route. Uh, so it was great, good fun. Got pissed on for about a half hour, but then the clouds passed and the sun opened up, and oh. Glenlock didn't reveal its full beauty, but it was gorgeous. And we even saw two unidentified birds. I think they could have been a sparrow, they could have been sparrowhawks or kestrels or something, maybe. I'm only going by the way they sounded and a little bit about the way they looked, because. I'm not an ornithologist, so anyway, so yeah, so I'm back, that's my, I got this new bag for myself, well, it's, it's new in the sense that it's new to me, it did belong to Tina, so, but she wasn't using it, and I said yes, I would like it, thank you very much, so I procured it, and it is serving me very well, and it takes, it, it, it takes a lot of weight, it's only, a, it's a 30 litre bag, which is slightly smaller than the one that I have, but it's more comfortable, and I wanted something with good waist straps and everything, so it's comfy. I like it. So yeah, good fun all together. I've loads. I have a few photos here and there. I shall put them in. Um, as you can tell by the title, this also has to do with pride. Yesterday was Dublin Pride March. Um, as you will have guessed from my vlog, I didn't make it to the parade, but I did go in for after drinks, which was good fun. Uh, what do you call it? I went in and I met a couple of friends at Panty. Bumped into a lot of people actually. I bumped into one guy from college, one guy from the sailing school that I used to work in, and then loads of the adventure club. We were all over the place. But uh good, good fun. So spent once it was kind of the way the way it works is once you're in the venue you pretty much don't leave unless you want to wait forever to get into another venue. And the security this year was a lot better than it was last year, I think, because like they had proper barriers up to stop people going out onto the road and things like that when they were at the pubs, whereas last year everyone was all over the place. So yeah, I think it was a little bit better. People have varying opinions on it from what I've been hearing. So then I was coming out and ended up missing the last bus home. And I was going to get the night link. Then I bumped into one of the one of the guys, trainees, girls from my from Dundee Carney. And I was like, "Do you wish to reach YouTube? Constantin or Ish? Uh, would have continued vlogging, but my train came, so I was not really comfortable yet vlogging on the train in front of massive amounts of people. We will do for next time." So, yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, Pride. So, yeah, I was heading home. Uh, bumped into a friend of mine at the, the dart state, uh, at the bus stop. Um, she's actually one of the girls from my youth club. She was in celebrating Pride, of course. And uh, she, so the bus came. Uh, bus driver said, oh no, I'm, I'm not stopping. I'm not, I'm stopping now. I'm not, I'm not going any further than the Ian Key. I was like, what? Really? What? No, you're the last bus. You have to go all the way out to town. You have to go all the way out of town and out to Dundee Kearney and Clonshock, where I live. It's like, no, I finished at Eden Key. It's like, you blithering expletive expletive bleep 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 bleep. But, uh, needless to say, I kind of cottoned on to what he was talking about once I was home. So, anyway, so we decided we'd walk to Eden Key and try and get the last bus from there. Missed that, bumped into two more of her friends. So the five of us were like, okay, nuts to it, we'll just get a taxi home, it won't cost more than four or five quid. Um, so, that's what we did. So it was grand, we got home eventually. Uh, between trying to find a multi-seater taxi and then 
trying to coordinate, you know, who's going to get in first, who's getting out first, and so on and so forth. It, only, it didn't take that long, but at the same time, at 12 o'clock at night, it's kind of, oh, just let us go home. I could have stayed out, but I'd, I had my bag with me, I had all my course books with me. I, I was dressed to stay out, but wasn't terribly in the humour. Um, it would have been nice to go to the parade, though. Uh, had did have fun though at YCL, which was great crack. Again, sad it's over, but I'm sure we'll figure out something to do. Uh, yes. So the next next time actually, I might be able to, I might be able to go to Belfast Pride next Saturday with the Wet and Wild Club, uh, which should be good fun because I've never been up to Belfast for Pride. I've been up to do parkour, but. Never been up for Pride, and by all accounts, it's it rivals Dublin, so should be interesting. I might see. I will see if I can go to that. Uh, so that's the crack. I must remember to make sure the camera is videoing next time because I've done this three times. No, well, this is my third time. First two times it wasn't recording. Oh well, one makes these mistakes. So that's your lot. Your meal and good for watching. I hope wherever you are is having a good pride. I hope you've been to a good pride, and if you haven't been to one yet, go to one. They are good fun. Oh, on a little side note, to the protesters who ambushed the Labour bus at the Gay Pride Parade in Dublin, you blithering, incompetent, self-centred. Somethings.